In this video, we will solve a problem on how to find the effect of the increase in government expenditure on national income and the effect of the increase in tax on national income given the national income identity and the relevant data. The question is, given our national income identity as y is equal to c plus i plus g, y denotes the national income, c is the consumption, i denotes the investment expenditure, g denotes the government expenditure. Y subscript D denotes the disposable income, which is equal to the total income minus the tax uh, taxes being paid. C naught denotes the autonomous, autonomous consumption. They does not depend upon the level of income. I naught is the autonomous government, invest, rather autonomous investment here by the firms. B is the marginal propensity to consume, which is 0 0.75. And C is equal to A plus B, Y subscript D is the consumption function, T, that is the tax function is T naught plus T Y, where T naught is the lump sum tax and this small t denotes the marginal tax rate. G naught is the government expenditure, day, which is $330 million, you know, uh, taxes, that is the auto, uh, what we call the lump sum taxes is $240 million and the tax rate is 0 0.2, that is 20%. We need to calculate the equilibrium level of income and what is the effect of the 50 million dollar increase in the government expenditure on the total national income and the effect of the 50 million dollars increase in the tax on the national income we need to calculate all this stuff okay so first thing is first so we have this uh identity that is y is equal to c so in place of c we have this function a, A denotes the autonomous part of the consumption, that does not depend upon the level of income. B is the marginal propensity to consume. Y subscript D denotes the disposable income. Okay, so in place of C, I write this function. Then we have the investment function, uh, rather investment expenditure. Then we have the government expenditure function. Rewriting this, so we have Y is equal to A plus b so y subscript d this is equal to this equation so let's write it here in place of y subscript d we have y minus t then we have i plus g again solving so we have y is equal to a plus uh, b y minus now t is equal to t naught plus t y so in place of t i can write T naught plus T Y. Investment is autonomous. Let's denote it by I naught. And government expenditure is also autonomous. Let's denote it by G naught. So our Y will be equal to A plus multiplying. So we have B Y. Multiplying this B to each of these terms. Then we have minus B T naught minus B small t y plus i naught plus g naught okay so let's transpose the y terms to the uh, left hand side so we have y so plus b y will become minus b y then we have minus b t y since y is to, uh, here so it will become it is negative it will become positive and transposing it will become b t y which is equal to a um, so i am writing in place of this c naught i am writing a okay sorry for this mistake so let me write it here a okay otherwise i have to you know erase all this stuff so in place of autonomous consumption i have written it as a then we have minus b t naught plus i naught plus g naught here okay so let's take y common here we will be left with 1 minus b plus bt is equal to a minus bt naught plus i naught plus g naught or our y will be equal to a uh, minus b t naught plus i naught plus g naught transposing it will get divided so this is 
वन माइनस बी प्लस बी डी ओके सो वी कैन राइट इट इन दिस फेशन आल्सो वाई इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइड बाय वन माइनस बी प्लस बी टी देन वी हैव ए माइनस बी टी नॉट प्लस आई नॉट प्लस जी नॉट ओके सो दिस डिनोट्स द मल्टीप्लायर हियर ओके नाउ लेट्स गिव द वेरिएबल्स दियर वैल्यूज हियर सो व्हाट विल वी गेट एंड लेट्स राइट इट हियर सो वी हैव वाई इज इक्वल टू वन डिवाइड बाय वन माइनस सो इन प्लेस ऑफ बी वी हैव जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव देन वी हैव प्लस b again we have 0.75 times the tax rate that is being given us is 0.2 into we have this a a is our 100 so let's write it here into 100 minus in place of b we have 0.75 t not that is the autonomous or rather the lump sum taxes it is 240 Plus I not is ninety. Plus G not, government expenditure that is being given us. Hey, have I written the government expenditure part here or not? Okay, so I forgot to write it. That is, G not is being given us is. That is equal to three hundred thirty. Okay, I forgot to write this. So let's write here three hundred thirty. Okay, when we solve this, and let's do the calculation here, we will get so this stuff. Okay, this stuff will sum out, uh, sum up to so it will become one divided by zero point four. Okay, when you solve this, it will become zero point four. And when we solve this, and here we can see it is a uh, hundred point seven five into two forty. It comes out to be minus one eighty. Plus we have ninety plus three hundred thirty. When we solve this, we will get the equilibrium level of income will come out to be eight hundred fifty million dollars. Okay, this is our equilibrium level of income. So remember, this step denotes our multiplier. Or here, one and the same thing. Next question was what is the effect of the 50 million increase in government expenditure on the income? Okay, so we have the change in government expenditure is 50 million dollars. Okay, we need to find out the change in income due to this. So using the government expenditure multiplier, that means given this equation, what we need to do here uh, to find out the effect of the change in the government expenditure on the total income we partially differentiate this function with respect to g not that means or we write simply del y that means change in the income due to the change in government expenditure will be equal to if i differentiate this uh, partially with respect to g not so derivative of g not is 1 so we will left we will be left with 1 And the derivative of all the other terms will be zero because we are taking partials with respect to g naught. So we will get one divided by one minus b plus b t. Okay. And we know this this stuff. This stuff is equal to one upon zero point four. Okay. Which is equal to zero point four. Let me write it here zero point four, which implies del y, which we need to find out divided by Change in the government expenditure is by fifty million dollars should be equal to zero point four, which implies change in income will be equal to transposing this it will get multiplied zero point four times fifty it comes out to be one twenty. Am I doing it correctly or not? So we have one divided by zero point four. Sorry for the mistake. It is one divided by zero point four. One divided by zero point four. Okay. So what will happen here then? So.
so we have uh, del y into 0 0.4 is equal to 50 which implies uh, del y will be equal to 50 transposing this 0 0.4 it will get divided 0 0.4 and we will get change the income equaling to 125 okay with the change in government expenditure by 50 million dollars uh, national income will increase by 125 million dollars okay that is the government expenditure multiplier now we need to calculate the effect of the increase in 50 million rather the effect of 50 million increase in tax on the national income okay so next part is we are being told that taxes have increased by 50 million dollars and we need to find out its effect on the total income okay that means we need to find out the tax multiplier here so tax multiplier will be given by that is the change in income due to the change in tax okay that means given this equation we need to partially differentiate it with respect to t naught here okay okay let me write it here uh, t naught so if i partially differentiate this function with respect to t naught derivative of t naught is one so we will be left with minus b minus b divided by 1 minus b plus bt okay so del y which we need to find out change in government expenditure is uh, rather the change in the taxes is 50 million dollars minus b denotes the marginal propensity to consume which is equal to minus 0 0.75 divided by this stuff we calculated this it come out to be 0 0.4 solving this we will get it equal to minus 1.875 okay which implies change in income will be equal to transposing this it will get multiplied we have minus 1.875 into 50 that gives us the income will decrease by when we solve this it will come out to be minus 93.75 okay when taxes are being increased by 50 million dollars national income will decrease by third uh, rather uh, 93.75 million dollars by that very amount i hope i make this like clear in this video and uh, you know i expect that i have not made any uh, you know mistakes or committed any errors in if there are any errors you can you know uh, you can ask me to you know rectify them i hope i make myself clear thank you